Hope you are fine and doing well. Today the topic of discussion is blinding. Blinding in the randomized control trials. Blinding is an important distinct aspect of randomized controlled trials. The term blinding refers to keeping trial participants, investigators or assessors unaware of an assigned intervention. Assessors are those collecting outcome data. Blinding is of three types. Single blind. Here the participants do not know whether they are assigned to the study or the control group. It means that they do not know whether they are getting the new drug which is under investigation or the old conventional drug. However, only the investigator knows who is getting which drug. This trial helps to overcome subject variation. Double blind. Here neither the investigator, that is doctor, and nor the participant, that is patient, knows the group allocation and treatment received. However, the statistician knows it. The drug is coded before handing over to the doctor. Usually, this trial is in practice. Triple blind, it goes one step further. All the participants, the doctor and the statistician are unaware of the group allocation. Only the principal investigator is aware of the group allocation and the treatment allocation. So the four type of persons involved in the randomized control trials, which are patients, doctor, statistician and the researcher. In single blind, Randomized control trials, participants not know whether they are getting the new drug or not. In double blind randomized control trials, doctor and participants both are unaware of the assigned drug. And in the triple blind randomized control trials, participant, doctor and statistician. All of the three are unaware of the assigned drug, only the investigator know the group of allocation and the treatment allocation. This is a short topic for today. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further updates and like the video and share it all the way.